Now then, Norman, shall we show the boys and girls what we've been doing? Ah, yes, please, Mike. It's amazing. Let's take a look then, boys and girls, says Mike. Don't get scared now. Mike Flood and naughty Norman Price have been hard at work. They've built a haunted house in Ponty Pandy Woods. This is how it looks in the day. And this is how scary it looks at night. something missing says Mike. I think our attraction needs a ghost and I just so happen to have one in the back of my van. I'm feeling tired says Norman to Mike. I'm going to have a little sit down while you go and get the ghost. Okay says Mike and off he goes. I need to find somewhere to sit. I know, I'll go and sit over there. Naughty Norman Price put his feet up on the table. And oh my goodness, he knocked over the lit candelabra. He's going to cause a fire. Oh dear, the candles have started a fire. Naughty Norman Price woke up and shouted, Fire! Fire! Where's Mike? Fire! Fire! Here comes Mike Flood now and scarily he's being followed by a remote control ghost. Right Norman, you keep out of Tom's way and take the ghost over there by my van and I will ring for Fireman Sam. OK, Mike. Naughty Norman Price did as he was asked and Mike Flood rang for Fireman Sam. Here we have our hero Fireman Sam with Elvis Cridlington in Jupiter. It was only a small fire, so Fireman Sam used his super duper fire extinguisher. Elvis and also Mike Flood had the fire bucket just in case and Norman was still looking after the remote control ghost. I will soon have these flames under control, says Fireman Sam bravely. And once the flames were out, everybody let out a loud cheer. And then Naughty Norman and the ghostly ghost gave Fireman Sam the tour of the house in the woods.
there guys, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club and today we've got a very special video for you, we've got a double unboxing. So we've got the electronic Ponty Panty fire station and the brand new Fireman Sam fire station. So let's get to it and get them unboxed. Let's take a look at the Ponty Panty electronic fire station first. So this is what the front of the box looks like. And this is what the back of the box looks like. It has a very cool turntable and an even cooler master alarm. And here's what it looks like out of the box. With this set we have Elvis Cridlington and we have Fireman Sam. And on this side we have a station door to let the vehicles in and out of. We have a door on the side for the fireman's pole. And there's a lift on the side that Fireman Sam is demonstrating. And here's Fireman Sam using the fireman's pole. That's very cool. And next, our Jupiter fire engine can enter the station in through these fire station doors. We can refill Jupiter. And we can use the turntable to put Jupiter in the right direction. And here she comes now out of the fire station driven by Fireman Sam. Here we have the station control. comes Fireman Sam, Elvis Cridlington and Penny Morris in Jupiter now. Here is the latest fire station from Fireman Sam. And this is what it looks like from the back. And here's what it looks like. And we have the master control centre with different cards. And the emergency vehicles can come through one set of garage doors in the station, onto the turntable and out through another set of doors. So there you go then guys, that's our two fantastic fire stations. The electronic fire station from Character and the brand new fire station from Simba Toys. If you like this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for lots more fun on the MG Tracy Club.
guys this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club so we're very excited today because we have Wallaby 2 in the club and it even comes with Tom Thomas and lots of equipment and all of these cool features and accessories this looks awesome I think we should take a closer look at this new Fireman Sam toy Wallaby 2 so Let's get started. Tom Thomas. His arms move, his hands move, he can sit down and here he is. Here's the pilot of Wallaby 2. Here comes Wallaby 2 now and Tom Thomas is flying the helicopter. It has doors either side that open so that the pilot can get in and out it also has a winch a flashing light on the top sounds and a working rotor blade Also with this set there's a rescue sling, a rescue bucket, a fire extinguisher, a torch, an axe and a hammer, two walkie talkies and a first aid kit. But what's that I can hear? That's the emergency alarm. And Station Officer Steele is on the walkie-talkie, talking to Tom Thomas. Marshall, Paw Patrol's firefighting dog, is stuck on the Ponty Pandy fire station roof. He needs help big time, says Station Officer Steele and only Tom Thomas with Wallaby 2 can help. Tom Thomas leaps into Wallaby 2 and starts up the rotor blade. He's on his way! And there's Marshall. Can you spot him? He's so high up, he needs help from Wallaby 2. I can hear Wallaby 2 coming now. rescue basket calls Tom Thomas to Marshall and he leaps into the basket and here they come now Marshall 
Rachel is now a happy pup and very pleased to have been rescued by Tom Thomas in the amazing Wallaby 2. Be sure to like this video then guys and also subscribe to the MG Tracy channel for more fun videos. Shortly, four boxes will appear. Tap on any of those boxes to continue watching. PC Staybright was doing his good deed for the day. He had rescued a piglet from one of the local farms in Ponty Pandy and he was just taking it back to its mother. He didn't notice that Naughty Norman Price was up to no good. Naughty Norman was on the Ponty Pandy fire station rescue tower. He'd got a supermarket trolley load of M&Ms. He thought that he would take the M&Ms up to the top of the tower. He wanted to be up there so that he could eat the chocolate alone and that he could see all of Ponty Pandy. He would have an excellent view. But disaster struck! Naughty Norman slipped, fell, and he was hanging off the railing. PC Staybright had dropped off the piglet and was coming back round in front of the tower. He looked up and could see Naughty Norman hanging from the railing. Norman Price looks like he's in a spot of bother. I need to call for Fireman Sam and Jupiter. Ah, oh, but oh no, on second thoughts, Jupiter's ladder won't reach Norman, he's too high. We're going to need Tom Thomas in Wallaby 1. jump onto the stretcher. But I'm scared. You'll be okay. Okay, let's get busy. Again. That's the second time we've had to rescue him today. I hope you're not going to need rescuing again, Norman. Oh no, I'll be a good boy, Fireman Sam. Pleased to hear it, Norman. So then, boys and girls, says Fireman Sam, be sure to like this video and be sure to subscribe. Shortly, four boxes will appear. Tap on one of those boxes to continue the Fireman Sam fun. Sam was having a really busy day. He had lots of jobs to do, so he decided to take Mercury out for a spin. As he passed by the light boat house, he saw that Mike Flood was inside. He thought he'd go and say hello to his friend. 
Mike had cooked up some really delicious hot soup for the lifeboatmen when they come back from a choppy day at sea. He was also baking some bread for them as well in the oven. But as soon as Mike Flood left the building, <gasps> what's happened now? The bread's caught a light in the oven. Here comes Mike Flood's friend now, Fireman Sam. Hi there, Fireman Sam, says Mike. Would you like a lift back to the lighthouse? Oh, that would be fantastic. Mike Flood loved the feeling of riding on Mercury. He just loved to feel the wind in his face. And Fireman Sam rushed off to the lighthouse. Meanwhile, Tom Thomas is patrolling the area in Wallaby One. <gasps> Jump into Hoosifats! Blimey koalas, what have we got going on here? Looks like the lifeboat station's alight! I need to get in contact with Station Officer Steele at the Ponty Pandy Fire Station. Meanwhile, back at Ponty Pandy Fire Station, a message comes through from Tom Thomas. Jump in Jehoshaphat, says Station Officer Steele. There's a fire at the lifeboat centre. I need to get my best firefighters there immediately. I need to get Fireman Sam. Oh, but he's out on Mercury. I must get a message to him. But let's get Elvis out into Jupiter and off to the lifeboat house. Elvis Cridlington immediately jumps into the fireman's pole. Good show Elvis, says Station Officer Still. Now I've got a very important job for you. I need you to take Jupiter over to the lightboat house because it's a light. I've got to get in contact with Fireman Sam. He's out on Mercury and he'll meet you at the lifeboat house. OK, Station Officer Still, I'm on it. OK then Elvis, I've got the super soaker and you tackle the flames from above. Well done Elvis! And let's tackle these flames together. Elvis, working together always saves the day. Phew, Fireman Sam, I'm so pleased that that fire's out. That really did give me a scare. Well, not to worry now, says Fireman Sam. It's all out and we need to get back to the station. I tell you what, why don't you try Jupiter again? Oh, Fireman Sam, that would be so cool. And off they went back to the fire station with Elvis Cridlington driving. Good morning boys and girls and today you've joined us in the amazing village of Ponty Pandy. And here we have three of Ponty Pandy's top firemen. Firstly, we have Station Officer Steel. And he has a fire extinguisher. Next, we have Elvis Grillington. And he has a ladder. And in the middle, we have our favourite fireman. It's Fireman Sam. And he has a fire hose. 
and today they wanted to share with you the Fireman Sam messengers and walkie talkies. Okay, let's get busy. So here's our first Fireman Sam walkie talkie. That's cool. And here's our second Fireman Sam walkie talkie. Awesome. And here's our third one. This is cute. And here's our fourth one. That's amazing. And here's our fifth one. so cool and here's our last one number six we're going to need your help what's the emergency a good fireman is never off duty let's press some of the other buttons when I press oh, this button. Oh, who has a moustache? Station Officer Steel. Well done. That's cool. Who is wearing overalls? Oh, I think that's Tom Thomas. Well done. And what happens when we press this who button? Sure to like this video then guys and share with all of your friends. A good fireman is never off duty. Okay, let's get busy. Great fires of London. Be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel for lots of toy fun. Tap on any of the boxes to continue watching. boys and girls today we've got an exciting new toy to unwrap we've got the Ponty Pandy rescue set this includes two vehicles and three figures look there's Venus there's Wallaby one with Tom Thomas a station officer steel and there's Elvis it looks like there's exciting features too. Look, we've got a rotating turntable. You can even carry it with this handle. And you can twist here to hear a real alarm bell. It looks like there's other parts in the set too. There's ocean rescue and there's a mountain rescue. Look, this creates Fireman Sam's world. Look, this is where he can work. And there's moving doors. This is where their uniforms are kept. And I think there's a working pole too. Let's take this out of the box now and have a play.
and these are all the pieces that you get within it. We've got this really cool pickup equipment. This links onto Wallaby One like this. This means an air rescue is possible. Let's open up the station to see what it looks like inside. There's this bell on the side. You also get this really fun turntable. And it clips on just like this. Right, now we've got everything in place, let's build the station up and make up a story together. Right, where should we put these lockers? I know, let's put them down there. Then we've got the computer. Um, where should we put that? I know, let's put it up there. The ladder, that would be really useful to get up to this section. Let's put that there. The fire equipment, let's put that over here in the station. The Wallaby One pickup gear, well, I think we should keep that up here, then that can be taken when it's needed. And the cutter, again, I think that should go down here. Let's put Venus ready for action on the turntable there. Then we've got the characters. Right, let's put Tom Thomas in Wallaby One. Station Officer Steel. I think he's going to be working up here by the computers. And Elvis, maybe he is in the kitchen. Now I think we're ready to make up a story. Let's go. Okay, let's get busy. Can I have everyone's attention? Now listen up, boys, said Station Officer Steele. We're going to do a test run. We're going to try out all our new equipment. Follow me. Meet you downstairs as soon as possible. Go, go, go. I'm ringing the alarm. Let's go! Ouch! <laughs> and with a crash and a bang, Station Officer Steel fell to the floor. Oh, that was a bumpy ride. I think I need more practice on that fireman's pole. The others were standing there laughing. Come on, Station Officer Steel, get in line like us. They were all assembled. And the bell was ringing. Quick boys, to the vehicles. Let's see how quickly we can get out through those doors. Practice. Three, two, one, go. Elvis made a run for the vehicle. He was in Venus in no time. I'll be out those doors before you, Tom Thomas. Meanwhile, Tom Thomas was already firing up the propellers, getting ready to take off. In a three, two, one. Come in station, I'm ready for takeoff. Come in station, I'm also ready, said Elvis. Quick, turn me round, Steel. Let's get those doors open. Station officer Steel arranged for the doors to open. And through the doors came Elvis. He was shortly followed by Tom Thomas in Wallaby One, preparing for takeoff. Well, I say, chap, said Station Officer Steele. I think we made a really good first practice. Let's keep practicing and make even better time. Off we go! Bye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Hi, 
Hi there guys, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. So it's a very exciting day here in the MG Tracy Club. We have not just one unboxing today, but we have two. We have double unboxing day. And our first very special vehicle is Venus. And it's not just one vehicle, but it's two vehicles in one. It's a play set. Uh, this particular vehicle has sirens and sound effects and also phrases. And uh, we'll just take a look at the back. So here's Venus, here's the water carrier, and this is the second part. This is the control center. So Fireman Sam can take messages and find out where emergencies are from this area here. And also here it shows that there are other accessories including an axe, a shovel and a broom. And here it shows the pump in action. It actually works guys. So let's take it out of the box and take a closer look. So here we have the hose that's pump action. And this is the water carrier section. So this can be filled up with water to work the hose. And here inside we have the accessories, uh, including my favorite, the brew. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And uh, we can just slide that in there so it can be kept on the side. And here's the control area. I have a fireman sand that's going to go up and investigate. Looks good to me, thanks Fireman Sam. And also the side of Venus comes down here. And let's see what happens when I press the horn. Good fireman is never off duty. Great fires of London. We're on our way. Okay, let's get busy. Go on then, let's go. A good fireman is never off duty. Great stuff. And here comes Fireman Sam now. And he's with Station Officer Steel. That's our Venus two in one vehicle play set. Let's check out our Fireman Sam Remote Control Turbo Jupiter. So then guys, let's take a look at the box first. And here's our radio control Turbo Jupiter here and our controller just here. And a great picture of Fireman Sam. So let's take it out of the box. Oh wow! So here's our Jupiter. Lovely bright shiny red colour. And uh, here's the ladder. And here's the fire extinguisher at the back. And it's made of rubber, it's very wobbly. And there's Penny up in the front cab. You can see Penny, Elvis and also Fireman Sam and his driving. And at the back of the box, this is very cool guys because it gives you a little play scene. You can see um, Norman Price's mum, Dillis Price's shop there and also Bella Lasagna's restaurant. And it's a great picture of a road in Ponty Pandy. And here comes Jupiter now.
amazing toy this is. So there you go then guys, that's our Fireman Sam double unboxing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and come back for a whole lot more here on the MG Tracy Club. Take care and bye for now. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's a very quiet morning in Pontypandy and we're outside the Fireman Sam fire stations and here comes Fireman Sam driving Jupiter with Station Officer Steele. They've been chatting. that Jupiter and the fire station buildings need some more emergency lighting. Shall we help them boys and girls? Okay, let's get busy. Here we go. Let's give Jupiter an upgrade. I've got all of these fantastic lights. So, here we go. looking great so far boys and girls but I think we need some more lights well Jupiter does look a little crazy with so many lights but let's check it out wow she looks amazing let's press the button here Let's see what Jupiter looks like in the dark. do is to find some more lights for the fire station. Fireman Sam and Station Officer Steel let out a huge cheer. <laughs> Be sure to like this video then guys and share with all of your friends. Shortly some boxes will appear. Tap on any of those boxes to continue watching. Boys and girls, you've joined Fireman Sam, Station Officer Still and Elvis Cridlington at the fire station. They have just got back from a rescue mission and are about to put all the equipment away. They all know how important it is to do this so that they can be ready for their next adventure. Because Fireman Sam and all of the crew are ready to help at any time. Meanwhile, Penny Morris is inside the fire station answering any emergency calls. Oh no, says Penny Morris. The bookshop in Ponty Pandy Village is on fire. I need to tell Fireman Sam quick. Don't worry, Penny. We're on our way. OK, let's get busy. took the firefighters no time at all to arrive. Great fires of London! 
says Fireman Sam. They both bravely use the super soaking hoses and with teamwork they get the job done. Fireman Sam. Oh, thank you, Elvis Cridlington. I don't know what I'd do without you. I've been looking after the bookshop. I don't know what on earth could have happened. Naughty Norman was hanging around in the background. He knows what's happened and he knows he's going to be in trouble. boxes to continue watching. Transport is on the way. Dispatch, question, medevac, Engine 5, dispatch, pockets fire all around. Good morning boys and girls, and today you joined us at Ponty Pandy Fire Station. And here comes Fireman Sam himself. Sam is waiting for a special delivery today and here it comes now on the back of Jupiter. What can it be boys and girls? Let's take a look. It's a Fireman Sand Messenger walkie talkie. Let's take it out of its packaging. This looks so cool. Let's take a close look. On the back it has a clip that you can attach to your waistband and here it has some dummy buttons that means that you can pretend to press them but on the side let's check these out that's the sound of the fire engine that's the sound of an incoming emergency call to the fire station Let's check this button out. That's a telephone ringing. And that's somebody making a call. Fireman Sam and Station Officer Steele are thrilled with their new messenger. Be sure to like this video then guys and be sure to share with all of your friends. In our next video, I'll be sharing more Fine and Sam amazing walkie talkies and messengers, so be sure to check it out. Tap on any of these boxes then guys to continue watching. Hello boys and girls, today you've joined us in Ponty Pandy, the old part of Ponty Pandy with the old bridge. The old bridge crosses Ponty Pandy River and the locals say that it's just not safe. But look who's coming. It's Naughty Norman. And he's behaving very dangerously. He's doing some very silly things. And now he's hanging off the side of the bridge. But look who's coming along the river. It's our hero, Fireman Sam, 
and he's patrolling the river. He's looking for any potential emergency situations. He can hear something happening on the bridge. He can hear naughty Norman and Norman is hanging off the side. Norman Price, get down immediately. What you're doing is just not safe. Get down, Norman. Am I only having fun, Fireman Sam? Get down. Here I go. But naughty Norman Price slips. Ah! Oh no, naughty Norman falls through the old rotten panels. This is an emergency situation. Norman is just hanging from the bridge. Help! Help me! Help! Great fires of London, says Fireman Sam. OK, Norman, stay calm. I'll get help immediately. Oh, help me, Sam! Help! Fireman Sam uses his emergency walkie-talkie to radio through to the emergency centre. Help me, Fireman Sam, help me! I'm so scared! We need Tom Thomas for this job with Wallaby 2. Meanwhile, Station Officer Steele is receiving the emergency call. Oh no! It's Norman Price! He's over at the old bridge and he's in trouble. He needs our help. Hold on, Elvis. Well done, Elvis. Okay, Tom, lower down the rescue sling. Sam. It's all in a day's work. It's a lovely sunny Sunday morning in Ponty Pandy. 
folk of Monty Pandy are waiting for Trevor Evans in the open top bus. They're all going on a trip around Ponty Pandy and they're going to make a special visit to the Ponty Pandy Lighthouse. Mandy Flood and Naughty Norman Price can't wait to get to the lighthouse. They can't wait to see Mike Flood and to try out the light for themselves. They had only been waiting a few minutes and Naughty Norman Price was already saying that he was bored and where is Trevor Evans? But what's that sound? Sounds like he's coming now. And here he is, sure enough, in the lovely red open top city bus. Trevor parks the bus up and then sees all the passengers on board. First on is Dillis Price. Dillis is very happy about being part of the day out today because she's rather sweet on Trevor Evans and just loves to spend time with him. Next on is Mandy and Helen Flood. They love to be out and about and spend time together. And last on is Naughty Norman Price and the Purple Minion. So Trevor Evans says, I don't want any of your normal shenanigans, you know, boys. I just want a nice day out. Do you think you can behave yourself? Oh, yes, of course we can, Trevor. We'll be no problem. OK, then. Hop on board. We're on board, then, says Trevor Evans. The purple minion was sitting out front and Naughty Norman was just behind him, hanging out the top of the bus to get a good view. And it wasn't long until Naughty Norman was being playful with the purple minion and he was tickling his hair. <laughs> the minion didn't like this and he caused Trevor Evans to swerve. He was flapping his arms all over the place. There's going to be a disaster. Meanwhile, Cruella de Vil was out and about doing some Sunday morning shopping. She decided just to park her Porsche anywhere. She parked it in a very dangerous place. And here comes Trevor Evans in the bus out of control. He swerved to Miss Cruella de Vil's Porsche and he's crashed into the bus stop. Cruella de Vil decided to abandon her shopping trip and sped off in her Porsche. But disaster has struck the bus stops are light and Trevor Evans has got a bus full of people. I need to get them off here quick. They all piled off the bus and went to a safe place. Phew, thought Trevor Evans. He reversed the city bus out of the way and parked just outside Dillis Price's lovely shop and decided to call for Fireman Sam. Fireman Sam now. And he's brought Elvis Cridlington and Penny Morris with him to help. Elvis was in charge of making sure that the people stood well back for safety purposes. Especially that Norman Price. And Penny Morris and Fireman Sam used the super soaker. Done. That was a top job. And the crowd loud out a big cheer for the very brave firefighters. 
Trevor Evans couldn't thank Fireman Sam enough. I would have been in a right old pickle if you hadn't come along, Fireman Sam. Well, it's all in the day's work, Trevor. No need to worry. Glad to help. But what on earth happened? Well, the purple minion was up front and Naughty Norman was behind him and, well, lots of shenanigans went on causing me to swerve the bus. Oh dear, oh dearie me, that is not good, Norman. And as for you, Purple Minion, you know that that's wrong. I don't think that you two should ride up the front anymore. I think that you should ride in the back. But Mandy was sad. Mum, we didn't get to go to the lighthouse. Well, no, we didn't, Mandy. I know, says Fireman Sam. I'll take you up to the lighthouse in Jupiter after I've finished my ship. How about that then? Hooray, says Mandy. Boo, says Norman. So then guys, if you like Fireman Sam and if you like toys, be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel. Also, in a moment, four boxes will appear. And if you touch on one of those boxes, you will see more Fireman Sam fun.